In this Wix tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to add categories and link them in your main navigation. Now, Wix does not just have a category link. If you were to look in the pages section, or the pages and menu, here's where you can add pages and, and then they'll be in your main navigation. You can also add links and menu items, but category or post is not a part of this list. Now, there's two ways that we can do this. The first way, if you already have a published site, you can pull in the live URL and use that as a web address. So for instance, I set up a pizza category and an ice cream category. If I wanted to add ice cream to this main navigation, I would want to go publish or click and view my site. Once I publish, I can click view site here. Now I would like to go to my blog and find that category of ice cream and get to if you see the URL up here, get to my live URL on my site that has blog slash category slash ice cream. I would copy this command or control C and then exit out of the live preview. And I would add this as a linked page. So add a menu item and then add a web address, this copy and pasted address that we uh, just grabbed of the category for ice cream. We can elect to open in a new window or the current window and just hit done for now. You'll see that it adds a link in here. We want to title it. I'm going to title it ice cream and hit done. And now this will basically be a link to that category page. So let's go ahead and preview this really quick. As we're previewing this site, we can hover over ice cream and click on it. We elected to open it in a new window, so open in a new window, that's fine. It takes us to the ice cream category. This is the default sort of basic look of a blog category or a category of posts. You can see here we have the posts. I've got two sample posts here. We also have our other categories here in like this sub navigation of our blog. So we've got pizza and we also have all posts. So ice cream and pizza. So this took us specifically to the ice cream category, but I don't have a lot of control over the elements on this page. I can make some micro adjustments. I could get rid of this navigation, but I can't put like a category title header on here. And maybe that's something you would want. So this is one way. Just grab the live URL, paste it in as a link in your navigation. The other way, if we go back to the editor, uh, actually we'll go back to preview because I want to show you the other way first. This pizza category that I set up is actually a page that you can design and include the category of posts and you can choose the category. So this is a page where I designed the section, I gave it a header, and then I set a category section um, of like a blog post list here. And so if we wanna create that and you can design this however you want, um, and I'll show you that page here in the editor really quick. So here we are, we're editing this pizza page. I have a section where I included a header and then I've got this sort of blog post blog post section where under quick edit, we actually could choose under, uh, I believe the content and then settings maybe. Yes, so this is the post list settings. We've applied uh, the post list element to this section. And then in the settings, we can actually choose a category. So we could show all of our posts or select one of our categories. In this case, I selected pizza. And so now you can define a lot of different parameters here of how these posts are displayed, even filtering by tags, tags, etc. But um, you know, this is how you can create custom category pages, and I think that that's a better way to do it because you can actually control the look of your page a lot more. So let's go all the way back to looking at actual categories, how to add them in, and then how to kind of take them to this page this style of a page and we'll do we'll do ice cream maybe we'll just remove that first uh, direct linked ice cream and we'll go and just add our own ice cream page so you'll want to get to your dashboard of your website you can do that by going up to site down to my dashboard uh, there's also if you have blog post lists in there you can just like click on that and it says manage posts and that'll actually take you to this section over here on the left-hand side where you have a whole blog section if you've added a blog to your site. 
You have an overview of like the last published posts. We can also click on the posts section. And then we can also click on the categories section. Inside of categories, we can add a new category. We can also rename the all posts category if we want. And then down here, you have the actual categories you've created. So I've created both a pizza category and an ice cream category. If I edit the ice cream category, you notice the title I can put in there. It does show the caps, so I made sure to all caps it to match some of the other navigation on the site. And then we can actually edit some of the SEO settings like the slug. So this would be like category uh, blog slash category slash ice cream, for instance. Uh, but then you can also put a category image, and then we can go to posts. And I'm going to discard any of those edits because we didn't really make any. But under any given post, if we were to create a new post or edit um, a post you already have, when you're inside of this sort of edit mode, on the left-hand side, you have categories. And inside of categories, we can select which categories this post applies to. So I've got ice cream checkmarked right there. And so once you have a category set up, once you have a post or set of posts that are also in that category, you're kind of filling up your blog a little bit. Uh, you can go to the editor. So I'm going to hit publish because I think it's going to bring me, uh, well, it's going to bring me back here, it looks like. I thought it might take me to the editor. I could just go to home and then edit site right here. And that's going to take me back to the editor of this site. And so let's create a page that is a category page. And I can go to pages and menu. And then at the bottom, just add a page. And we're going to add a blank page right here. Now, once we're on this blank page, we need to add some sections. I want to add a post list and I want to add a header. So I'm going to start, actually, before we start adding things, we can um, change the name. So this over here is how it's going to show up. You can see new page is showing up right there. So I'm going to just do all caps ice cream. And that's going to be the uh, navigation menu item. And we can drag this around, if you didn't know, to reorder it up here. But I'm going to keep it like that and we're going to add some elements. So the first element I'm gonna add is just some basic text, but I might actually add, I might actually add a section rather than a basic text element. And in this section, we can select a lot of different things. I'll probably add just a basic text section, and this is the one I added in the last post. So I'm just gonna click this, and it's gonna add that section in there, or I might click and drag to put that section right there. Once we've got that section out here, we're gonna edit this text, and this one we could call ice cream, so this will effectively be our header. I might even do uh, ice cream like this instead of all caps here. So we've got this heading, and we can make edits to it, but we don't need to get into that necessarily. Just got this heading, I'm gonna kind of change the size a little bit, and then I'm going to add a section right here. So we click add a section, we're adding a section below the header, and we actually have a, um, I believe, actually no, this is gonna be not a section, it's gonna be elements. So we're gonna go to elements, then we're gonna see blog down here, and then we have different styles of post lists. And so I could just click this first one, and it's gonna add these in here. And the category that it added, or I think the category it added is just all posts. And I put it in over to the top of the header on accident, uh, but we're going to make sure we have the header section up here still. So we're just going to redo that. No problem. Sometimes you make mistakes while you make tutorials. All right, so I'm going to put that section or that header up here. Same thing we had before. Now we have this post section down here. And we can do exactly what uh, we were working on before. Just anytime you click on a section, you've got quick edit, manage posts, uh, just some items there. We hit quick edit. And what we can do on the right-hand side now is edit the settings of this post list. So this post list on this page, we edit the settings, we go into settings and choose a category. Right now it says all posts, so we could choose just the ice cream posts. Uh, there's a lot of different options here of what you display. You can display the published date. These are all things displaying on your post. You can adjust the layout completely. So um, no matter what you want to do here, you can do a lot of different things on this category page. You can even make the category pages different or a page full of category pages, if that makes sense. But once you kind of have it laid out the way that you want it, we just exit out of this 
And now we've created a custom category page. We can publish that to the site and then we can view the site. And once we hop in here, you'll notice that we can click on ice cream and that's gonna take us to what we just created. So we've got our header up here and we've got our post list down here, which we selected a certain category of posts to show. And so this is more of a custom category page. These are really short example posts, so it looks kind of weird, but just the post itself. And then we have our categories up here on the post itself, because that's kind of how the regular blog is laid out. You could remove this. If you did all custom category pages in the navigation up here, and you don't need this, you can remove that so that people don't click back on ice cream and go to the wrong category page. So you see that this is the standard ice cream category page, the first one that we linked to. But we don't have to show that. We can actually hide blog from this menu. We could only show the categories up here. You can really customize your Wix site to show only the things that you want to show. So if you wanted it to all have this layout, then you would hide some of those other things and just not make them available when, you're, when uh, viewers are navigating your, your blog posts. I think that pretty much covers Everything I wanted to cover in here as far as adding category pages to your navigation and to your menu, you can add a direct URL to the blog if you don't want to go through all the manual uh, customization and page creation. You can totally do that. If you like the way it looks, maybe you make some tweaks and just add those URLs here and link them up. You can also uh, create these custom pages and then add post lists where you determine that it shows only a certain category of posts. And by the way, you can make these sub items. So if you had a main blog page and then you uh, wanted to drag like the categories underneath and have this be a drop down menu under blog, or maybe it's like a main category page that you put like food on there and then underneath it is tagged posts of like pizza and ice cream, you can do that, this custom way of doing that. If you guys have any questions, uh, I know this tutorial was a little longer, but let me know in the comments down below and hopefully I kind of showed you a thing or two about working with categories and adding category pages to your website here on Wix.